Okay, so I'm in a cafeteria and so I am at a salad bar and that's what my choice is gonna be today. I might get a lean meat, I might not, but I wanna have something more in my stomach than my light breakfast that I had. So I'm gonna show you what's in the salad bar by still respecting people's privacy, okay? Okay, so apparently there's chili, I'm not even interested. There's a the little dressing, I don't use that. There's the eggs, chickpeas, macaroni, um, artificial crab meat. And let me continue. This stuff here, cheese, cream peaches, which I'm going to be getting, black olives, raw, and beet cooked vegetables, green peppers, onions and so forth, cucumbers, oh, okay, a little bit of protein getting meat, grape tomatoes, cauliflower, mushrooms, and broccoli, and we're not done, these wonderful leaves, things. So this is um, more than enough to make me happy. So let me get started. Okay, so now I have what I had picked from the salad bar, and as you can see, I got um, as you can see, I got um, cucumbers, mushrooms, uh, beet, broccoli. I don't know if you can see that broccoli. Well, you'll see it as I eat it. But anyway, and then I brought my my water. Um, I thank you uh, for joining me, and there got my thumb thumb finger. So this is what I'm doing because that's how, one of the ways that I am dropping the weight off. I mean business, you gotta act like you mean business or else you stay fat. I'm just saying. Also, I got some bread too. <sighs> Hello. Uh, time for another mukbang. I will put my glasses in my pocket. Yeah, my hair's a mess, the lighting, blah, 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 blah. Um, I said my blessing over my meal. I'm having this, this mukbang because a lot of people seem to think that mukbangs are a bad thing, that mukbangs should be ended. They want it to be banned from YouTube. That's what I'm talking about, mukbangs, mukbangs on YouTube. What do you think? Now, I think mukbangs should be able to be on YouTube because it's not the fact that you're eating on YouTube that is the problem that people are upset with, but they're upset with the people that behave in a gluttonous manner. I'm not going to appreciate that. But basically mukbang means like eating show. And as opposed to glutton show. It's, it doesn't mean glutton show. It means eating show. The fact that people have made a career out of being gluttonous on YouTube is actually not the same thing as mukbang. It's the, the negativity that gets the attention, unfortunately. Mm. 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 So, I'm going to continue to do mukbangs. But before I used to uh, feature more meat, I haven't given up meat entirely, but I've dialed it back. I, I'm gonna show you this. See, this sounds, it smells very highly seasoned, but specifically very salty. And I have a problem with that. I have a problem with it being very salty. I don't think I'm gonna eat it because it's not good. I don't need to have a ton of salt or sugar on my proteins. I know. And I don't understand why somebody's idea of cooking is to drown the stuff in salt. Mmm. Mmm. Beets. Beets. You just can't beat them. It's really good. 
Now beets are good food across the board, basically. But if you have blood sugar issues, diabetic, I'm not a doctor or anything, but <clears throat> this is good, particularly. And it has a certain amount of sweetness in it, without, without being like grossly sweet, where you're like, oh, it's too sweet. But it's good. Today is very hot today. So I knew I was gonna have to have some food in my stomach. Even like this morning, I had two apples. I had a Granny Smith apple and I had a red apple. I think it was either a Gala or a Fiji apple. And I had some pistachios and that was my breakfast. And I meant to have some either spearmint tea or chamomile tea. Not chamomile, I don't have chamomile. Either spearmint tea or hibiscus tea. Mm. That's right, folks. I gave up traditional black tea. And I gave it up because, for one thing, you have to add sugar to it or it tastes too bitter. And sugar is not what I need. I'm trying to lose weight here. I'm trying to be healthy. I don't need it. And I have been lessening the amount of sugar that I would put in it, but I just couldn't take it straight because of the bitterness. And I would drink it several times a day. Excuse me. And I'm going to show you in future how much sugar that was per day and per week. But when I saw it, I said, mm -mm. The other thing about uh, traditional black tea, orange pecol, black pecol tea, is that the caffeine raises whatever your blood pressure level is. Like if you're normal, not doing too much damage basically um, unless you have issues you're good but if as your pressure gets elevated it's problematic and if your pressure is normal but you're trying to lose weight and try to stay healthy it seems sensible to nip it in the bud by cutting back on something that's so high well, it's not super high like coffee but something that is high in caffeine that will add up to a lot of caffeine if you have several cups a day or even one cup depending on your tolerance. So I cut it out. But it's like, but I want my cup of cuppa, you know? So now I'm using herbal teas and selecting them carefully. But um, sometimes, because you're so used to, and I'll say because I'm so used to putting sugar in my tea, even something that tastes good, like, excuse me, spearmint or, or peppermint or just regular mint mint, you might think, well, if I add a little sugar, it'll make it better. But I've trained myself to like it in its natural, unsugared state. And I have, and it's wonderful. Mmm. So I'm so far getting the cucumber, the mushroom, and the beet part of this uh, selection. I still have lettuce. Mm. This is really good. I'm really liking it. I didn't even put salad dressing on it. I've never really been a big fan of salad dressing because I actually like vegetables. So I don't feel like I have to have salad dressings to make the vegetables taste good. Mm. And um, Mm. and broccoli I think I had some broccoli if not I'm going to have some now and broccoli does all kinds of wonderful things I think it has something to do with free radicals I don't know a whole lot about that I'm, I'm sorry but I don't mm. Mm -hmm. But I'm feeling good because when I eat things like salads and raw vegetables and raw fruit, even though I like cooked vegetables too, my energy levels improve. They do. When I eat a lot of overcooked, even vegetables along with the meat, the highly seasoned meat and stuff, and the carbohydrates, that makes me sleepy. 
and sluggish. And I noticed that um, I don't want to be sluggish. I, there's things that I want to do. I don't want to be sleeping my life away, you know? In the later part of my years, I don't have fun. We worked like dogs when we were young. So when we get older, we get retirement age or semi-retirement, we want to be able to have that fun that we were lied to and promised that we were supposed to have. Let us. We do. But bad eating habits catch up with you as you get older. If you don't do something about it. Mmm. 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 Mmm, mmm, mmm. Somehow my face looks so fat. And I was wondering, how do you feel if I weigh myself? Well, not necessarily nowadays, but maybe. If I started weighing myself every day for like 30 days or 90 days, how do you feel? I want you to leave a comment. I want you to leave a comment how you feel about that. Mm. Mm. And when you start eating more healthy foods, foods that are more simple in their preparation, without a lot of hoop de doo sauces and gravies and salts and stuff, you start to appreciate their natural taste. What I mean is, we get so, our taste buds get so overladen with different sugars, with so much salt, that when we start to cut back on the sugar and cut back on the salt, they start to re, seem to readjust, retune, so to speak. And you can pick up the delicate nuances of the different flavors of different mushrooms and different vegetables and different varieties of specific vegetables. Somebody's lawn block went off. That's funny. So you realize they don't really need a whole lot of help, if any. I have never tasted mushrooms that tasted so good and it was the same mushroom, but I'm adjusting. Mm. I like that. And if you notice that when you eat, you feel like lying down even before you finished your meal, there's something to that. There's something unbalanced. I just feel more optimistic. Even though I love meat, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say I don't like meat. I love barbecue, I love fried, baked, broiled, boiled chicken, sauteed, whatever. I love it. I love cream of this and cream of that and cream of, of the other. I do. But I don't need it anymore. I'm not saying I'll never eat barbecue or whatever, but I don't, and this is another thing that I've noticed, I don't need it. Like, I used to feel like I needed it. Like, before I made changes, there were foods, particularly desserts, cookies, cakes, ice cream, even though I knew I wanted to do less and not go overboard, it's like it would take over. It almost felt like a type of lust. If you can think of it, it's almost like a lust, like, oh, you know, this type of thing. And now I find that I'm calmer and I have more control over foods that I used to use my mind, lose my mind over. So I like that. I like that I'm getting more in control of my food. And this is, I've eaten most of it. Now put this aside. Perhaps my husband will like this. Uh, um, I don't know. 
Anyway, I'm not I'm not gonna eat it. Um, too salty, way too salty. Not doing it. So there's that.